So in this video, I want to explore what we mean by negative indices. So what does it mean to have 7 to the power of minus 2, for example? What does that mean? Well, the way to think about it is think, well, how could we have got to an answer of 7 to the power of minus 2 using the types of problems that we've already investigated? Now, we could have got to a negative value if we had done some kind of subtraction of the indices. Now, that happens when we do division. So, 7 to the power of minus 2 could have come from 7 to the power of 3 divided by 7 to the power of 5. Because 3 take away 5 is minus 2. So, it could have come from this type of problem. Now, what is this? Well, 7 cubed is 7 times 7 times 7, of course. And 7 to the power of 5 is 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. So if we divide top and bottom by 7, and again, and again, what we're left with is 1 in the numerator. And in the denominator, we've got 7 times 7, which is 7 squared. And so, 7 to the power of minus 2 is the same thing as 1 over 7 squared. And that's telling you that the negative power means 1 over. So in a very similar way, I could look at something like um, 8 to the power of minus 1. 8 to the power of minus 1 could have come from doing something like 8 squared divided by 8 cubed. So that would be 8 times 8 over 8 times 8 times 8. Divide top and bottom by 8. And again, we're getting 1 over 8. Or 1 over 8 to the 1. So 8 to the minus 1 is the same as 1 over 8. OK? And so what that's showing me is that in general, I would be able to write down, if I had b to the power of minus x, then that would be the same as 1 over b to the power of x. The minus sign tells you that it is 1 over. And that is a new rule uh, that we can work with for negative indices.